I've just finished making like the crux of my apple crumble, like the test one. And it's come out really well, oddly well, too well. So I'm expecting it to taste terrible or not great, but it, all the elements kind of came together and it was really easy to do and I don't really know what happened. I'm not very good at baking. So in my desperate quest to get good, I did a smaller one, which is this one. It's the tiniest little Pyrex dish you'll ever see. <laughs> I'm really happy with how it came out. This dark stuff is just cinnamon. Yeah, I tasted some of the apple and it, it seemed really good. I never thought, really thought to add vanilla to it, but I did and it made a huge difference. Tomorrow I have some cookie cutters coming. I've also ordered some reusable fruit pouches. I'm hoping to make my own few fruit purees because we're... Oh, Daddy Long Leg, die! No! Oh, it's gone in my bedroom. <laughs> I couldn't catch it. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Anytime I complain about it, everyone says, oh, it's because you have the lights on. I apologise for needing illumination in my own home. Good morning. It is officially cold. It is officially autumn. I uploaded my first Instagram post for, I think, months at this point. I very rarely keep up with my rattery Instagram. Oh, you know, animalery. <laughs> my menagerie Instagram. That's severely lacking. Yeah, it's rolling in. So originally I hadn't intended on doing a voiceover for the market, but, uh, you know, sort of classical music didn't really fit looking at a bunch of dead fish. However, we did buy some sea bream from this fish place. We also bought a bunch of vegetables from the vegetable stand and that was very nice. Joe actually cooked the fish the same day because he said um, there's no way that I'm putting that in the, uh, in the freezer. This is some stuff that I bought from Vinted and I, I like it a lot. I've been wearing it constantly since I bought it. showered for a few days so i need to go and do that happy wednesday it is wednesday we were supposed to do preschool this morning and we didn't i'm just going to try and catch up with housework I got my shower and I managed to get dressed and I managed to get everyone else dressed. It's much harder with children because whatever you do with yourself, you have to do three times or however many children you have. So it makes it three times harder. <laughs> I'm going to fold laundry. Mum's coming over for tea. It's a fun filled day. I am going to make cookies today though. That's going to be my activity for the day.
let's not drop it. Again. All of the cookies are out. Cookie, wee cookie. Uh huh. You cannot tell that the last batch was dropped, which is perfect. I have thankfully been asked to cook, um, like dinner, kind of. Yes, I've been asked to cook sausages, so I'm going to cook sausages. I have kind of iced 40. There were 44 but I kind of ate some as we were going and the babies ate some too. I did fondant icing instead of piping. Yeah, I'm really happy actually. I think for my first kind of biscuit attempt, it's quite fine. It's fine, it will do. And it's nice and warm indoors. So I'm going to sit with a cup of tea and some cookies. It's very cozy and I will see you tomorrow on Thursday. Good morning. It is actually Friday. Thursday I didn't um, vlog anything, but this morning I have a coffee morning. I have some donations for the local food drive they're doing at the church. So after my, my monthly socialization, uh, I will drive up to the church and I will take in the things. I went shopping last night, so I picked up a few extra bits. So tea, hair, socialising, and church. Well, that was awkward. I just saw someone I knew driving up the other way. <laughs> um, I've done my donation to the church. I've never been to this church before, so I didn't know where to leave it. I left it in the um, just inside the gate. The coffee morning was great. I got to see all of my friends um, and a few new people, actually. But... Um, I didn't get any, any footage, and I should have, because they had a cat, a very tiny kitten, this big, and two lovely dogs, and I didn't because my phone was about to die. I've charged my phone like a tiny bit in the car. No, I'm in second gear, oh no. Shit. I love how these people on the road in England, they say thank you for letting them have their right of way on the road. <laughs> I've always struggled with socializing with people I, I don't know people tend to be really stilted around me and i don't understand why i've been going to these coffee mornings for two months not two months but two two coffee mornings worth which is about three or four months i suppose and i've only made friends people who actually send me messages to say like, oh, are you around today? Do you want to come over for tea? Or do you want to take the children out? Or something, you know? And it's just nice. Oh, oh, oh God, I hate this. There's not enough room for two cars on these roads. You just have to hope that wherever you go, wherever you are, there is a place that one of you can pull in on your side. I had someone one time where they pulled into my driveway. I was like, I need to get in there. <laughs> I'm home. I had to get changed um, because my skirt was covered in dog hair. I'm going to catch up with some emails and figure out some things that need doing. Um, I need to feed the ferrets, actually. I have, I'll show you. It's a little bit grim, but in the, in the Thor box today, we have quail, two quail and a rat because that's what ferrets eat. Some information that I became privy to was that X-layer quail are higher in calcium than um, younger quail. So I buy the X-layer quail from, I think it's pronounced Kieserbrink, 
um, but I will link to them. My gran actually is possibly coming over, but I, I may also go for a walk later. Um, I'm trying, I'm actively trying to fill my days with things to do. Saturday. I caught up with all of my emails and I had a wrapped collection, two really nice does from a litter where I have kept two of them. One of the does I actually posted to Instagram um, and her ears are a bit funky. I wanted to see how she grew out and how they looked as adult ears and if any complications arose from them. And I held back what I think is a mink silver mane velveting, but I'm not entirely sure. I need to wait until she's a bit older and she loses a lot of the silver mane because for some reason my does tend to lose all of their silver mane as they get older and then my bucks just get more silver mane as they get older. For lunch we had um, venison and I just, I kind of threw together like a bunch of vegetables and I, I told Jo, I was like, please can you just cook these? And it was beetroot, potato, and broccoli, purple broccoli. But when we cooked it, all the purple came out, and I was very really disappointed. Um, so I need to find a, a good way to steam things like broccoli rather than boiling them. So I'm going, I think I'm going to try and catch up on some editing. See how well that goes. Usually someone doesn't let me edit anything, ever. Hello, it's editing Ellie here. I was force fed two chicken nuggets and told to go away. I haven't uploaded anything at this point in time. I haven't uploaded anything. Um, so I'm editing everything from August into one long video. It's very embarrassing. So it's October tomorrow and to me it's crazy how how much my life has changed since I've just been applying like different principles and looking back through it even literally in that last month and it only has been a month it's just kind of wild. Just going to sit for a little bit. I have a tea and I have a half chewed gingerbread that Lou decided he didn't like. That is my fuel. I didn't sleep particularly well last night. I don't know why, but then neither did uh, the baby. Hello, I'm dressed and mum came in earlier than I thought she was, so I, did, I couldn't, I can't, I still don't have the um, confidence to vlog in front of her. But I'm off, I'm going, I'm going to a place called um, Cafe in the Park in Aston Clinton. I don't know what to expect, I've never been there, so I'm going to a second hand children's clothing event. Taking my camera, taking my phone, so I will actually be able to get some footage there. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm so livid. <laughs> I went wrong, I'm really late. And um, when I got here, the car park is absolutely tiny. And I was wandering around. I was like, haha, people who can't park are so funny and it's me. I'm people who can't park. I messed up backing into a space and I panicked and drove off. And as I drove off, someone in a massive, I drive a little two-door Volvo and someone in a huge four by four left their parking space. At least I'm here, I guess. I'm here and I didn't crash on the way. There's still the way back to go though. It took me ages to get here. <laughs> I think this was the two to three years rail. This was the one that I went to first. I think they had like two to three years at the top and then three to four years at the bottom. They didn't really have as much as I was expecting. I think because I got there a little bit late, they just, yeah. It's a very popular category, but there were some really nice things there. The ladies who run this make sure that everything is certain brands and in certain condition, so it stands to reason that it would be nice. <laughs> I really wish I'd picked this up, actually. I really regret not picking it up. <laughs> These were the older boys' clothes, so the sort of six to seven and five to six age range. It went all the way up to ten years, I think. 
This was the, yes, so these were the like one year old rails. I wish I'd picked this up, not because I need it, but because it was very, very, very cute. This was the newborn. So if you're going for newborn stuff, then obviously there's a lot. Especially the zero to three and the three to six months. There's just a ton of it. This was the hat section. So there were a few hats. Um, quite a lot of them I think were geared towards girls. I wish I'd picked this up, actually, looking back at it. There is a hat you can see on like the stripy one that's there. I did pick that up. So these were slippers. This was the shoe section. I found quite a few things were mixed up. People had looked at shoes and then put them in the wrong boxes. So a lot of boys' shoes were in the girls' boxes, a lot of girls' shoes were in the boys' boxes. But it's kind of to be expected. I was umming and ahhing about getting some slippers for the baby. In the end, I didn't. But I do regret not buying him slippers because look how cute they are. I wish I had a girl so that I could have bought those. But if I did have a girl, I would have spent way more. So it's probably a good thing. These were some Ralph Lauren shoes. I think they were a size three, actually. I picked these up. I bought these and I'm really happy I bought these because they fit the baby really well. <laughs> this was just everything that was left. Christmas clothes. A loads and loads of Christmas clothes. Girls clothes. <laughs> Loads and loads of girls clothes. And this was nearer to the end of the day. So these are baby neutrals. If you don't know what you're having, go buy some things. The Halloween section was a little bit scarce. I think everyone had already been and gone. I've just found a quiet corner to try and go through something. Um, my arm's going dead. So this is all the stuff that I found. This looks really compact and it is. Um, yeah, I'm scared of how much this is going to cost but I'm gonna go through it and see if there's anything that I don't actually want and that I picked up in my anxiety. I didn't show you the suit that I bought but I will. Look at all the stuff I bought. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. It is done. <laughs> I'm really glad that I stopped um, and kind of took a break and assessed the situation because there were a couple of pieces that I didn't really need so i put some things back on the rails and i had another look through because sometimes people pick things up and then they put them back on the wrong rails um but it was so busy but um they were so lovely when i i rocked up with my two carry things and um yeah they managed to fit it all in two bags which was great other than the suit which um i'm really excited to show you actually i'm gonna go home um, Joe's already at home and he has, I think he, he's already cooked lunch so I'm kind of in trouble. I'm much later than I thought I was going to be. I'm going to go home, I'm going to have lunch and then I'm going to edit stuff. And hopefully I won't get lost well, at, at, on the way home this time. Hi. Yeah? Yeah, mum went through everything that I bought and she seemed to really like everything so... Not that it really matters if anyone else likes it, because I like it, and the children like it. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's going for the duck light. There he goes. I'm going to do some... I'm, I feel terrible, but I'm going to try and drown it out with some editing. I'm having a sweat spell again. I'm forever taking this off and putting it back on and I don't know what to do with myself. Oh my God, I'm so livid. I'm so incredibly livid. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> oh. So Joe is back in three minutes. I have just spent 40 minutes recording a video. I recorded it, I got the audio set up, you know, cause I have to use the I have to put my microphone here so that it actually is close enough to me but the lens is too the lens is too long so I have to have it really far away for it to work for it to look okay I set everything up everything was done I was very excited everything was going really well and then it said that my memory card was full so I thought oh okay well I have 
10 minutes left, I guess, to finish recording. So I put the memory card in the PC and get rid of some stuff. And as soon as I hit delete, my, my PC blue screens. So it's got rid of all of my recording. It's got rid of yeah. everything. Yeah. Everything is gone. Yeah. Everything that I just did is gone. And I'm, I'm so annoyed. Now Joe's home. I hear his bike. I can hear his bike and it's stupid. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Oh, that's smaller than I thought it was going to be. Do you want to come and see your thing? No, I have no idea what to do with this thing. Well, can you access the battery? Yeah, of course. You put the positive on the positive and the negative on the negative. One of you smells like a dead rabbit and I'm not sure who it is. But it's tiny, you can take it with you. Where am I supposed to turn that on? Where am I supposed to plug that in? Right. Well, I don't know. For some reason I thought it was like a battery. I didn't know it came with cables. I am terrible and I didn't record a real outro to the week, so I'm recording it now. So I left you with opening that battery. Um, I actually ordered the wrong one. I was supposed to order one that you, you charge the battery and then you take it with you places with the little cables and then you can charge your battery from that battery instead of plugging it into the wall. But I ordered the wrong one. Where my husband works, he has access to a plug socket, so <laughs> it's fine. The day that we got that, um, the the battery charger uh his bike completely died um so he has a, a motorcycle and we've been having a couple of issues with it actually firing up you know like starting and it just stopped it didn't have the courtesy to stop at home it stopped working at the petrol station so that was um interesting uh, they managed to jump it from her car however that led us to believe that it was a battery problem, hence us trying the, the battery thing and it didn't work. So we charged the old battery thinking that's m maybe all it needed. It didn't work. We ordered a new battery and we charged that. Even though it said it came pre-charged, it still charged for quite a while um, before it went green. And we tried that and it didn't work. So currently Joe is off. For the most part i'm taking him to his longer shifts so that i don't have to hang around for you know a while so i, I will take him if he's working like more than a few hours he only works in the local area anyway so it's fine and that's how we're working things at the moment just figuring things out and we're doing quite a lot of stuff at home actually which is nice um, i get to spend more time with rats and doing my things and my projects and and various so we're not we're not short for work but it's just a really big inconvenience it's been a few days since then i haven't vlogged i've just been trying to get this week's vlog done i will see you in the next one thank you for watching have a nice week have some chickens watch some chickens <laughs>